Hello our most valued student, my name is Confident, welcome to our Engineering Science N2 and I'm looking at the topic of work, power and efficiency. So I'm going to take you through the topic of work, power and efficiency as well as at the end of this topic I'm going to do some typical question from the exams that will prepare you further as you prepare for your exam. So I will encourage you to go through the whole series of this module. I will do more than three, four, five videos depending on the amount of work. But I just want you to follow up on each and every work. So for you to do that, I will encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that you can be able to follow up and on ensure that the notification bell is turned on if ever you are subscribing for our YouTube channel. So now let's go through this topic, the work, energy, and efficiency the first important thing are the definitions and the first one is the definition of what it is the definition of work now what is work or what will you define work as now I usually use formulas when I'm defining remember there is a formula if you go through your formulas you'll see this formula it says work is F times S meaning work is force f stands for force s times s stands for distance so work is force times distance now how will you define work now work is a force which moves through a distance so if we're talking about work we are saying it is a force which moves through a distance so that is uh through a distance as you can see it is force times distance so you're trying to define this definition so work is a force which moves through a distance now what about power how will you define this word power power is defined as there is a formula for power which says P is equal to W over T we'll go through this again but I'm just getting ahead of myself what is power power is the rate of doing work so that is that rate that's why it's divided by time so it is the rate of doing work uh, and then the other definition here is energy how will you define this definition of energy energy is the ability to do work to do work so energy is the ability to do work so that is energy power is the rate of doing work but the energy is that ability to do work now the unit of work or energy that unit is the joule joule so how will you define uh, a joule now a joule we can define it as the amount of work done when a force of one newtons moves through a distance of one meter so the joule there we are saying it is the amount of work done right that's the work done remember and then we are saying when a force of one newtons as you say it is force times distance so moves through a distance through a distance um, of what of one meter so it's that's why it's uh, when you're looking at the joule it is Newton uh, Newton meter it's Newton meter meaning it's Newton meter and by saying Newton meter we are saying this is equal to a joule so these are the definitions that are important for you to know now moving ahead let's look at the formulas as we said the formula for work done work done is force times distance please don't forget that work done is force times distance and also it is important as, uh, for us to remind ourselves what is force now force remember is mass times gravity so when you're given the mass of an object you multiply that particular mass and the gravity there is 9.8 so we can write now work done here as equal to force which is m times g times s sometimes 
you might be needed to use that. What about power? We said it is the rate of doing work, which is work done. Let me use a different marker here. We said power is work done over time taken. But now remember, work is F times S. So you can actually substitute there where there is work. We say F times S over time taken. That is uh, what you call that. We call that uh, the power. So it is work over time, which is force times distance. But now you need to remember what is speed or velocity. Now V is equal to distance, which is S over T. So now you can see that there is S over T there. So we can therefore move on and say power here, P is equal to force, which is F times now since s over t this gives me a v so it's f times v so that is another formula for power so power here can be work over time which is force times distance over time which is force times velocity depending what you are given now let us look at a, a quick example here before the end of the lesson it says here a body of mass 600 kg is hoisted to hoist is to move vertically up 20 meters vertically in two minutes determine the work done so this is just a simple example here to say how do you find the work done in this question so we are saying a body of mass 600 kg so when they give you mass remember you need to ch convert it to what to force in newtons now the question says calculate the work done remember work is force times distance so we have s here this becomes our s for the distance but what about our force our f is linked to that 600 so remember the formula i said to say you need to convert the mass to newtons so we are saying what f is m times g so what do we have for the mass which is 600 times 9.8 so you can take that and say work now is equal to you can actually find the answer here first which is say what is 600 times 9.8 and um, the calculator can give you uh, an answer for that so it will be 600 times 9.8 if you want to simplify things is 5880 that's what you will have here 5880 that is now in newtons then you can take that and say 58 Eight zero now times distance which is 20 and then you are going then to get the answer in this case to say 5880 times 20 then this becomes 117,600 now what are we looking at work done is measured in joules you can divide by a thousand it will be one one seven comma six then you can convert it now into kilojoules but that answer is the standard form now that was a what about b in b what are we calculating the power how will you calculate the power now remember we said power is what work done over time taken now if you look at the uh, part here they gave us time and they say it is two minutes but now the si unit of time is not minutes it is in seconds so you need to convert that now how do you convert Two minutes to seconds so what you need to do here you are going to say to convert that it's two minutes times 60 then this will be what 120 seconds I think that so you need that part so when you say power is equal to work done we just got the work done here which is one one seven six hundred over time now you don't forget the si unit of time is in seconds then it's 120 then when you do that again as i said you need uh, the help of the calculator if ever you're working with that to say 117600 over 120 then it will give us 980 so it's 980 now power is measured in watts that was one way of doing it but i say as i said there are different formulas that you can use and we said another formula for power is is this formula here 
this formula here is f times s over t so you could have actually used it here to say power is equal to f times s over t which is equal to the force we did find f here which is 5 8 8 0 times the distance which was 20 see that over time we say it remember is 120 seconds so this can actually give you if you are working uh, directly from before you calculate the work, uh, the work done which is 880 times 20 over 120 then you can see that is 980 straight so you've got 980 watts so depending how you want to do it this can be different ways of doing it and let's see here they are saying or you can actually look at it from this angle to say velocity remember is distance over time and they gave us distance which is 20 meters over time in seconds is 120 so we can actually calculate the velocity there to say what is the velocity which is 20 over 120 and then I'm getting what uh, 0 0.1667 so it's equal to 0 0.1667 this is meters per second then I'm going to take that to say power is equal to f times v remember we used uh, that power there that formula there f times v which is equal to the force as you say it is 5 8 8 0 times 0 0.1667 now to get the actual answer it was 1 over 6 remember this was like 1 over 6 so that you can get uh, the actual answer so it is f which is 5880 times 0 0.1667 and then if you do SDC 980 comma 196 but if I use this one to say times uh, 1 over 6 just the original one here is equal to see 980 so this will give us the 980 watts different formulas still getting to the same answer so guys as I said this was um, in a way me introducing this topic and let uh, let us move on to the next lesson where I'm going to be showing you how to draw force uh, force graphs yes it is the force graphs which are actually more challenging to students whenever they are doing this work power and efficiency questions so definitely join me in the next lesson so you can get a better understanding of this topic thank you